looking for dad jokes. Any dad jokes or dad joke enthusiasts? What's the difference between a rough looking guy on a bicycle and a well dressed guy on a unicycle? A tire. Do you know what? That, I'm going to give that an 8.5. 8. 8. 8.5. Man walks into a bar with a piece of tarmac in his shoulder. Says the barman, I'll have two pints please. One for me and one for the road. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you're right, that was bad. Why didn't the melons get married? I don't know, why didn't the melons get married? Because they can't elope. <laughs> well, that's actually a good one, that's actually a good one. Okay, I'm going to rate it out of ten. Yeah. I'm going to give that a six. A six? That's, I was expecting more. Well, we all expect more. So I went to the beekeeper and I asked him, can I have 12 bees, I want to buy 12 bees, and he gave me 13. And I said, I only asked for 12, and he said, well, that's a freebie. Good! I like that one. That one's good. Okay, I'm going to give that a nine. The reason we're collecting dad jokes today is for the thousands of refugee children in the UK that are grown up without their parents. The current law is, if a child comes here as a refugee, um, once they're granted asylum, they're not allowed to bring their parents to join them. So the UK is one of the only countries in Europe that does that. Did you know that? No, but I'm not surprised given this government, but don't get me started. <laughs> I'm going to get you started. It's completely traumatising. It's just going to cause these people more harm been through enough trauma. I wonder why that, why that is, why is it in the UK? The government says that they think if they were to allow it, it would be an incentive for families to send their children on dangerous journeys to the UK. What do you think? I think it's These are refugees, right? They're running away from terrible situations, war, generally, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. They're children, they should be allowed their parents, no? It's, it really is horrific, it really is. Yeah. So you think they should change it? Absolutely, absolutely. You're taking these children, putting them in a, into a foreign place, and, and not, they're not what they're like, you know, most beloved protectors mm -hmm. and, and guardians and all that. So that's, that's really messed up. If, it was, if you were in that situation, you had to send your child, and you were thinking you'd probably get rejoined afterwards, but then you find out that there's no way and you're not allowed. Uh, I'm conscious this is being filmed, so I'd be pretty angry. Yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if it wasn't being filmed, how would you react? I'd f***ing raging. Uh, obviously pretty emotional at first, but then anger would shortly follow. Mm. I'd have to figure out how to sneak into a country. Um, I think it's absolutely appalling, because let's be honest, um, wherever any of us would go in the world, we could potentially be a refugee. What our government's doing is just ripping these families apart. They're fleeing something and looking for places of safety, and they need to be given safe harbour and be with their families. Mm -hmm. End of. Okay, so we're going to end it on, I'm going to give you a dad joke now, right. and you rate it out of ten. Yep. How many times do you have to tickle an octopus until it laughs? I don't know, eight? Tentacles. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Knock, knock. Who's there? Europe. Europe who? No, Europe who. Okay. That's fair. That one's actually fair. Thank you. That was a seven. <laughs>